Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to go over our footer. And hopefully you watched the header video because it's going to make a lot more sense. So we're going to scroll down to the very bottom of our page. And we are going to let me dismiss this. Is that going to go away? Oh, it's a bummer. Okay. So at the bottom of your page, you're going to uh, you're going to create a section. So you're going to hit this plus sign, hit the control. It's going to ask you what type of section, and we're going to uh, put a footer marker here. So just like the header, anything below the footer is going to be classified as your footer. Um, and I'm pretty simple in my footers. So all I did was I created a container. I made this container four columns. So I added, added and I think I put, obviously I adjusted some of the gutters. Um, Anyways, did that, and then I simply just put text. And so if you put, um, you can put your logo in this one, and then you can put some text into this, and we're going to run out of battery on my computer. Oh, wow. Grab it, drag it. Let me log here and plug my computer in. I love that one seconds. Like perfect timing. Okay. Perfect. So we're going to um, obviously adjust the size on that because we don't want it that big. There's two ways that you can adjust the alignment. If we wanted to align everything that was in this column to the left, that's the second column. So we can come over here and just put that to the left. Um, and it looks like this text has already been has an, another alignment so you have to select the text as well and um, align that to the left as well so there that goes and then from there you can just copy make a copy of the element um, and then so let's just say this is like the one I have below this is your these are links that you can easily access and these will be kind of I'm going to make these smaller, and maybe the weight will make them kind of like that. And maybe we'll even adjust the color so there's just kind of a distinction like that. So anyways, that is how you do the footer. I don't really, I mean, you can do this however you want, but these are simply just text. Um, and I think on this top one, I adjusted the margins so that it was, um, there was a little bit of space between there. And then once I did this, all I did was, so for text with links, so let's say this is like the one below, it's going to go to courses. If you want to create, uh, have this create, a, um, and actually, you know what, a better way to do this, now that I'm doing this tutorial, you can even just do links and do it that way. And then on these, you can do uh, column. That's not how I did mine, but that's probably a better way. <laughs> so there you go. That way you're not having to adjust and make all like little changes and it will just, uh, it'll do it to all of them. So you can have this go to courses. We're going to do hashtag courses and etc. So you're going to do that in all four columns. Um, you can add whatever you want. You can add your logo here. You can add it here, however you want to do it. Just as long as you're styling your footer beneath this footer marker. So anyways, I know that was quick, but that is how you do the footer. And again, if, if uh, you purchase this, if you're a lifetime member, then you can request this template. I'll give you everything here. And that includes the footer. So you can come in here and just adjust these uh, however you'd like.